What's up guys welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to work on my 2020 Mustang GT so in this video what I'm going to do is I'm replacing the front grille with the RTR style grille which comes with the front LEDs so guys this is the RTR style grille I have purchased online I will put the link in description so you can check it out and let's open the box and see what it comes with and how it looks So there is a wiring harness for the LED. And there it is. That's a grill with the two LEDs at the end. So guys, to replace that grill, we have to remove the bumper and to do that, we need the access underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quick jack and lift the car up. That way we have lots of access underneath and then I will show you how to remove the bumper. So guys, our car is finally up in the air. Now to remove the bumper, we're going to start from the bottom and then we will go up and remove from the top at the end. Okay guys, to remove the bumper, first we're going to start removing this 7mm bolt. And there are more underneath the car. Here, and it keeps going all around. Like it goes. all the way here and then there are two more here one here one there plus in the middle there are two right here one here another one is right here and then at the back there are four more one two three and four once we have removed those we have to remove some push clips there's one here and one here one right there and one right here and it's gonna be same thing for the other side so to remove those 7mm nut i'm using socket with the impact driver so to remove those push clips i'm going to use this tool So after removing the splash shield, there are two more push pin we have to remove. There is one right here and then there is one inside right here. To access those, either you can remove the wheel or I am just going to turn it which will be easier. So after removing these push pins, pull this splash shield a little bit backward. And as you can see, there is a nut right here, which is 10 mm. There are two nuts, one in the back, one in the front. So we have to remove those two. So just use 10 mm socket with some small ratchet or 
uh, any socket driver you have you can use it whichever can fit for you i'm going to use this i'm going to remove those two So we have removed the push pin and nut from this corner. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So to remove the bumper, last thing we have left is to remove from the top. So let's open the hood and I'm going to show you. So, first we have to remove this radiator cover from the top. To remove those, there are some push pin right here on the top. We are going to remove all of them. There are total 8 of them, so let's remove that using our trim removing tool. So now the final thing we have to do is remove these nuts. It's a 8mm 6 nuts. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, eight mm, and there are two which is five point five. One on each corner. So I'm going to remove eight mm first. So to remove the bumper, we have to pull this portion down this way. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. And once they are out, all you have to do is lift from the front. Oh, we forgot to unplug the fog lights. So let's do that before we install anything. So they are connected from the underneath. We have to remove those. And once those connectors are removed, I'm going to show you how to remove those. Pull the bumper up and out. And make sure you have something to put this bumper on so you don't scratch it. And this is the clip which goes on the fog lamp. And all you do is you see this pin, you have to press this and pull on the both. So guys, our bumper is removed. Now to remove this drill, first we have to remove this center support bar. And to do that, you can see there is a clip right here. One here, one more right here. There is one here. We have to remove those clip and there is one here in the bottom also. So to remove it, what I'm going to do is press it down, push it down and then pull the support bar up at the same time. For the bottom one, push it up this way.
Now, to remove our grill, it's the same thing. Use the flathead screwdriver and there are clips around. We're just going to push it down a little bit. Or these clips actually push up. And then it comes out. We have to pull at the same time and for the bottom one it's a push down. I think I have to put the bumper up. So now to install our new RTR grill, all we have to do is push it back in place and that's it. So finally guys our RTR grill is installed. Next step is we're going to put this center support bar in the middle. Once it's connected, all I'm going to do is connect it back on the car and that's it. So let's install that. I'm going to show you how to wire the wiring harness and then we're going to put the bumper back in the car. So to install this piece, all we are going to do is same as the grill. We're going to place it back in place and push it where the clips going to lock in so align the all the clips once it's aligned just press it downwards it clicks once it clicked that's it it's done so for wiring harness, 
I'm going to use one end on the one side and just use this connector Let's click in and same thing on the other side now for this part there's a double side tape Just going to put the wire on the side and put it on the top. Actually, I'm not going to put it on the top. It might interfere when we're going to install back the bumper. So I'm just going to put it in between here. Where nothing going to interfere. And then I'm going to route the cable this way. And same thing for the other side. And this connector will go to the headlight. I'm going to connect it to the right side of the headlight. So, for the headlight, the connector is right here. Right there. So you want to press the clip. And that's it, it's removed. I'm just going to keep it hanging. Once we have a bumper, we're going to connect it. So now our bumper is ready to go back on the car. So all I'm going to do is lift from here, actually from the front. Angle it and put it back on the top. Now I'm going to do connect the wiring harness before I connect the bumper fully. So I'm going to take the wiring harness up.
So it's connected on this connector right here. So guys, finally our RTR style front grill with the LEDs are fully installed and it looks really good. It changes look of the front completely and it, it's really fantastic compared to stock. And the matte finish of the grill is matching with the leg, which is perfect because before it was a glass grill with the matte lid. With it was completely different now it's matching so it looks way better than before Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. And also if you want to watch more videos like this, please hit the subscribe and also bell icon. That way whenever I upload new video, you will get notification. See you next time.